Yes, and in fact, we, we've made a, a statement and we have a principle that we're wanting to uphold and that is to make our research open. So what we mean by that is rather than waiting right until the end of a research project where we have the findings and we publish that in an open access journal, what we're hoping to do is to make each stage of the research cycle open. That doesn't mean to say we're going to have everything up because clearly our research is messy and people don't have time to go through every little bit of messiness. So we will select, but for example, the fact that our proposals are available, we're going to make our literature reviews available, our conceptual frameworks, why we chose what we did, alternatives, we'll make that available. The, the methodologies that we undertook, we've got quite a variety. And then how we went about um, our uh, question um, or instrument um, development process for surveys, questionnaires, focus groups, um, document analysis. And not, so not only sharing the final um, survey instruments or any of the instruments, but in fact, Kind of shining a light on some of the underlying assumptions that we've made so uh, there is a, a much clearer understanding about why those particular questions were chosen um, we will then um, and this is our biggest challenge is to actually make our data open um, and that i'm less confident about at the moment because we, we haven't done it yet but that's our intention and in terms of our initial dissemination, we have an idea that instead of waiting for the final, final uh, report, that we'll be creating a dynamic research log, as it were, and building up the research as it goes along um, in a way in which the report structure is layered. So you can get a summary and then you can get a summary of the projects. But then if you want to delve deeper, you can actually go into the actual questionnaires used in that particular project, the actual data, the list of references, um, the people who are involved, their contact details. And this obviously will be dynamic um, in the sense that people can leave comments um, and ask questions on the actual document itself. Or for example, challenge some of our um, assumptions. Um, so we're hoping in that way to make it um, slightly more dynamic and interactive than before. Uh, so these, I must say, uh, caveat, is that these are intentions. I haven't seen, apart from the OER hub, which are making um, quite a lot of the data, the visualization of the data available, which we are obviously going to connect into as well. Um, I haven't yet seen a research project, uh, certainly not in OER, they might be in other fields, where the entire research process is quite as transparent as this one.